anybody went to that. Um, if you saw any promotional materials for that, or if you saw the billboard that was that was made for that, uh, that is part of what I do. Um, so is that an answer to the question a little bit? Fantastic. I have a table over there too. It's the one over there. It's got a bunch of stuff on it.
entrepreneurial in their problem solving, right? They're, each of them is kind of asking in a unique way what they can do for the community in an entrepreneurial fashion. So you saw sort of a variety of what we would call social enterprises, so people that are asking the question of how they can build some sort of business model, be it nonprofit or for profit, around solving um, a problem in the community. So really inspired. Um, so thank you so much to all our presenters for having the courage to come up and tell their stories and share a need with our community. So yeah, oh, my name is Timothy Abdul Martin and um, I cast my vote for Leon L. LME. That's my co-founder and I've done business with him. He's doing nice things in the community and trying to improve our community at the same time promote business. So that's why I vote for Leon L. My name is J. Juan Jordan. I'm actually the owner of A Day in the Life Books. I produce my own kids' books locally in the Flint area. Um, tonight, uh, I'm very happy to be a part of the event, and I actually supported um, Marcus with the Mark Lou Designs. Uh, uh, I kind of relate to him in the fact that he's trying to get his graphic design business off the ground. I understand how that feels completely doing my own kids' books. And so he got my boat, and I would... My name's Avram Kluger, and I am... I'm, I'm a number of things, community activist and a nonprofit professional, and I'm also working in HR. I actually live in Ann Arbor. I don't even live in Flint, but I heard about this event and just had to be a part of it. The person I voted for tonight, her name is Walithia, and I was very inspired uh, by her story and really First of all, the way she brought us in, her presentation I thought was a key piece of, uh, of what this was about and really brought us into the story of who she is and why she is passionate about the cause and why she ultimately has decided to uh, create the nonprofit organization that she did. And the fact that she just does uh, this in such a selfless manner in terms of gathering um, dresses and uh, working with other businesses to provide all sorts of uh, added value and really make uh, the prom night such a special night is really very touching and very tangible, I think, in terms of uh, the program itself, what she does for these people, and what she would be able to achieve with uh, the amount of funds that are available here tonight. Molly was so close.